What's going on people and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you a mix I did using only free plugins. All of these plugins are available online for free and if you want the template for this mix the link is in the description below and you can have this very template and follow, follow along if you show, so choose. Um, the vocal stems were purchased at themusic7.com. Um, it's vocal multi-track 17 so check that out if you want to follow along using my template which you can get in the description below so let me play you the song um, from the jump almost got slapped tears in his eyes way too sad couldn't take it nice calling his dad since gonna be in my pack no talk no lie no cap don't get put in my spiff that's facts no talk no lie no cap don't get put in my spiff that's facts Snatch that man and I'll back your man till all of the pagans drop Bow. Grab the man and I'll slap the man till all of the verbal stops How can you say that I'm not on block? Should I cut to the P then some got chopped? How can you say that I'm not on piss when all your boys are on these shots? Alright, cool. So we started with the LA2A. This is an um a what the hell are their names again? <laughs> a UAD plugin that is free. Um really really good it's a nice leveling it's got a it's a it's a tube compressor so it's good for this kind of vocal because it adds that low end warmth um but it's, i find that in general these la2a compressors are quite clean in the sense that if you want just a compressor that's going to level out your vocals without adding too much saturation and all of that kind of stuff if you want just like a clean compressor this is the compressor you need to get the tube version has a little bit more um, low end in there great for rap vocals great for drill vocals and I knew I didn't have a lot of plugins to work with because you know I only wanted to use free plugins so I actually did like minus 10 decibels of gain reduction on this um, let, let's let's bypass all of the other plugins so you can hear what it's doing Almost got slapped, tears in his eyes, way too sad. Couldn't take it, nice calling his dad since gonna be in my pack. So, like minus 10 decibels of gain reduction because usually I might have two or three different compressors, but I didn't have that much choice on this one, so we just had one doing minus 10 decibels of gain reduction. We then have the TDR Nova, which is actually a really, really good plugin. Um, I definitely going to use this in my mixes going forward it's a dynamic eq um, but it's really good i'm actually using it as a dsa in this case um and i'll show you exactly because i think you could probably hear from the jump as soon as i engage that compressor the s has got really sibilant um but this is a great dsa i think it yeah there's even a dsa um preset in there if you need it um yeah Almost got slapped, tears in his eyes, way too sad. Couldn't take it, nice calling his dad since gonna be in my pack. No talk, no lie, no cap. Don't get put in my spiff, that's facts. No talk, no lie, no cap. Don't get put in my spiff, that's facts. Cool. Um, then we've got the M equalizer. Um, M audio, I think it's called. Um, or Meta audio or something. Um, these guys have a whole bundle you can download that has a whole bunch of free plugins. There's a there's an auto tune type plugin in there. Um, there's choruses, flanges, things like that. Um, but I'm using this M equalizer here. We wanted to do a little boost in the low end because I wanted those the, the vocals to really sound a lot of body in the vocal, um, a lot of low end. And then we I did do a little bit of cut there because it did still sound a little bit of sibilant. A little bit sibilant. Um, I actually live stream this mix, by the way. So this mix I did on live, um, on YouTube live. I didn't end up uploading uh, the footage, but it is on my Patreon. But if you don't want to miss any lives that I do, because I do these quite frequently, make sure you ding the bell and make sure you're subscribed. Most importantly, um, we then got the Rough Rider. I don't know if that's a Y, if that's a pause, but it's the Rough Rider plugin. A um, little bit aggressive. A little bit aggressive um i can't remember did i do no this is just straight up i thought maybe i did like parallel compression with this but it looks like i just did i just slapped it on there um three to one ratio let's hear what that's doing almost got slapped tears in his eyes way too sad couldn't take it nice calling his dad since gonna be in my pack no talk no lie no cap don't get put in my spiff that's facts no talk no lie no cap don't get put in my spiff that's facts Snapchat man and I'll back your man till all of the pagans drop. Bow. Grab the man and I actually quite like that. 
I think it's more designed maybe for like um, producing, like to compress drums and stuff like that. But I think that actually sounds pretty good on them lead vocals. We also used it in the ad libs, which I'm going to show you in a bit. Um, I might even mute these for a sec. Actually, no, nah, fuck it. Uh, we're then using another TDR Nova. It looks like more DSN, to be honest. Um, I guess kind of, I'm using this in the way that I would use the Soov. So the Soov is pretty much a dynamic equalizer, but the Soov <clears throat> does everything a little bit more automatic. And also with Soov, you've got like tons of bands. Unless you've only got uh, one, two, three, four bands. Um, whereas on Soov, you've got like a million or something like that. Um, but it's fine. You don't need Soov. And in fact, this is a good, if you can't afford Soov, then this is a great, great, um, it's a great plugin to use instead. Almost got slapped, tears in his eyes, way too sad. Couldn't take it, now he's calling his dad. Soon, soon, gonna be in my pack. No talk, no lie, no cap. Don't get put in my spliff, that's facts. No talk, no lie, no cap. Don't get put in my spliff, that's facts. Snatch that man and I'll back your man till all of the pagans drop. Bow. Grab the man and I'll slap the man till all of the. Cool. Um, the reverb that I'm using is this. It's called Old School Verb. And I'm using two instances. This is, as it says on the tin, drum room. It's a room reverb. Um, I like to use room reverbs just to kind of, um, I guess, make the vocals sound less dead. Because when we're recording these vocal booths, sometimes they can sound a little bit boxy. Um, so I like to use small room reverbs just to kind of brighten them up a little bit. Put them, give them a little bit more space in the mix, basically. Um, and we can, I can play the vocals and I can really drive it up so you can hear exactly what it sounds like. Grab the man and I'll set the man till all of the verbal stops. How can you see that I'm not on blocks? I cut to the beat and some got chopped. So you can hear it's very kind of there's a lot of high frequencies in that reverb. So adding that little reverb that little room reverb can really help to get some high end for your vocals, make your vocals pop a little bit more without using EQ. And then we've got another reverb here. It's the same reverb, but we're just it's more of a plate. It's a it's a plate reverb. Um I can't remember if I troubled any of these. I think I did. I think I did do a little bit of... There is an undo button, so I could possibly... Actually, no, I'm not going to bother. Um, but yeah, uh, this is a plate reverb as opposed to the other one, which is a room reverb. We can hear what that's doing here if I just turn this up. Grab the man and I'll slap the man till all of the verbal stops. How can you see that I'm not on blocks? I cut to the beat and some got chopped. How can you see that I'm... It's actually a pretty decent reverb, to be honest. It's not the best, but you've got a lot of control here. You've got a lot of controls, which I like on a reverb. I don't like just like one knob reverbs and stuff like that. I like having control over how it sounds. Um, and I think it's, it's pretty good. Um, we've also got some delay, I believe. No, we don't. I thought I did have a delay. Uh, yeah, we do have a delay on the ad libs, which we're going to get into right now. So on the ad libs, we start off with some saturation using the soft tube saturation knob. Wow, that's very loud. Um, stop, stop it. it. But yeah, we just wanted some saturation there and then we compress the hell out of it. Yeah, eight to one compression. And like I said, it's a pretty aggressive um, compressor anyway. So you're doing eight to one an eight to one ratio on this, it's a lot of compression, but I like that on my ad libs. I like it to sound like, I like them to be quite compressed. Let's fast forward to here where there's a lot of ad libs. Run their lips, had enough of this stupid shit. Been in the field, just buy me a football kit. You know that I hit that lit. Swing my sword or bet that flip. Okay, maybe not. Uh, but yeah, you can hear. Let's let's bypass it. Like super compressed, a lot quieter than when it's not on, obviously, because um, that's how compressors work. Uh, the TDR. I try to replicate what I usually do with the C, the C4, um, and that's why it looks kind of bonkers. Um, kind of like a, it's not a phone effect. It's kind of like. So the reason that we use phone effects on ad libs is because we want to put the ad libs onto a different frequencies so they kind of don't get in the way of the main vocals so this is kind of what i'm doing here um with this with this nova is i kind of want to boost those 
that that 2k to 4k i want that to be boosted but i don't want it to sound like the phone effect so that's why i'm using a dynamic eq to kind of kind of shape it a little bit not only to get it out of the way of the lead vocals and to make it sound different but also to shape it i think that sounds pretty good um I don't even know if it needs this M equalizer, but I remember when I was streaming, I couldn't quite get the sound that I wanted. I think it probably sounds better without that EQ, but we might put that back on in a minute. Um, this is an auto panner, which is in that same bundle I was talking about, the M Audio. I hope I'm not getting their name wrong. I think it's M Audio, but it might not be. It might be like meta production audio there you go meta production melda production audio um they do a, they do a bunch of plugins um the ones that aren't free as well they're a little bit more in depth but this is the auto pan that's available the only thing with this is it as far as i can tell it doesn't have a sync button as far as i could tell so you kind of have to do it yourself but you know it's an auto panner um it does the job if you don't want to do that you can just automate the pan in which i don't have a problem with to be honest but in this case we use this auto panner it's free check it out um and it does what it does on a tin it auto pans probably can turn these up a little bit right these ad libs let's turn them up a bit um the valhalla echo which is just a delay uh let's turn this up and see exactly how it sounds Grab the man and I'll slap the man till all of the verbal stops How can you see that I'm not on blocks? I cut to the beat and some got chopped How can you see that I'm not on It's a delay, it does the job You can do, it's a little bit better when you're doing like faster delays Tape, tape echoes and things like that um, But in this case, I wanted to just use it as a, a quarter note uh, delay Just to give it that, give the ad-libs that ad-lib sound You know what I mean, make it sound a little bit spacious sit it behind in the mix so the vocals can pop a little bit better the vocals can stand out in comparison <clears throat> we then got this old school verb again and that kind of brings it all together doesn't it that kind of makes it sound um give it more of that spacey sound that i like um my ad lips to sound like i've got a vmr on here which is an accident so we can take that off um my bad uh yeah and that's everything um i didn't do any mastering maybe i'll do another video where i master something using free plugins i think that would be pretty cool um i just have to do some research and find them but i think this sounds pretty good and i think it's a good it's proof that you don't need to buy a thousand plugins i'm not saying that you have to use all free plugins but you don't need a thousand plugins to get a good sounding mix, um, especially you're starting out. You've got to utilize these free plugins, man. You don't just follow what YouTube videos are doing. You might be able to get in your back just using free plugins and keep your eye on a lot of these manufacturers because a lot of these companies, because they often will put out free plugins. I think Waves is about to put out a free, some free plugin that they've not revealed yet. So make sure you keep an eye on that. But um, as I said, everything here is free. So check them out individually. Um, this is Soft Tube. This is by, I don't know what, Audio Damage, TDR, um, Melder Production, another Melder Production. Then you've got Valhalla. They've got a few free plugins on their website actually. Um, so check out Val Valhalla. Um, and then this, old school verb as well which is by what company um i don't know voxengo there you go and yeah that is the mix oh yeah i've also got this tdr nova here on the on the vocals because there was a lot of plosives going on and i tried to control it a little bit um so usually to do that you do something like this where you just get the lowest band and you just put it all the way to the side and you compress it quite a bit. It's better with compressors. This is an EQ, but. 
grab the man and I'll slap the man till all of the verbal stops. How can that kind of will just catch those those um plosives a bit, but you will have to go in and as you can see here, I did do a few a, quite a couple of edits. Um, but you can check that out if you check out my Patreon. Um, the video of me mixing this in full is on there. Um, also, don't miss my live streams. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you won't miss them. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. Let me know if I missed any, if there's any plugins I should check out that are free. Drop me a comment. Um, if you're new around here, subscribe. And yeah. Uh, I'll try and put all of these in the description below, but if not, you're just going to have to actually pay attention to what I said. And um, I say all the names in there. But yeah, if you want this template, link is in the description below and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.